Hello there everybody, welcome back to another episode of Try New Things, where today I'm gonna do, hopefully, a product review. Now before I dive into the product that I am reviewing and whether or not it's gonna work, let me walk you through the problem that I'm trying to solve with this product. So the other day I installed this one horsepower electric water pump that I'm using to pump water from my rainwater collection system an average of 250 feet that way down to my garden. Now the pump works great. It's doing exactly what I need it to do to water the garden, but the problem is it doesn't sense whether or not you're trying to draw water so it doesn't shut itself off. And every time I want to turn the pump on, I've got to run all the way up the hill turn on the pump and every time I want to turn it off I've got to run up the hill and turn it off again so what I'm looking for is a way of turning the power to the pump on and off from the garden so in my mind that's an easy problem right everybody's got such a problem they're trying to resolve and so there's got to be a ready-made solution for it and I go where everybody goes to find their solutions, and that's Amazon. And what I found was a number of remote control power switches that you can put in line with the power source. And you, you probably have them at home to turn on your Christmas lights. You go to the window, you push the button, the Christmas lights come on outside. That way you don't have to go out in the cold. You can turn on a bunch of different lights. So those remotes are out there really cheap 15 to 20 dollars but if you read the details they have a maximum usable range they claim about 100 feet which gets me halfway up the hill and then i can turn the pump on and off but doesn't let me do it from the comfort of the garden without weaving my way through the fence back up the hill turn off the pump run back down and do whatever i was doing so you, I was thinking there's got to be one that's good for three to five hundred feet. That's kind of the range I'm looking for. There probably is. I didn't find it. Not one that's readily assembled and you just plug it in. You know, you plug the, the thing into the wall, plug your pump into it, and you, there you go, remote control. What I did end up finding is a number of variations of this. Now it is a wireless control switch. Uh, hopefully that's going to come up in the picture. So it comes with two remote controls. With a, and I'll show you here in a second when I dig it out of the package. Here's a little signal boost antenna. And the module. And I'll put a link in the description so you can find this if it works. If it doesn't work, I wouldn't recommend buying it. But we'll start with the actual module. So what I found was this module, but you see there's no plugs, right? There's no cord, there's no plugs. What you have, I can remove this cover is direct terminals that you've got to wire up yourself and then on the top goes the antenna and this is what gives you your range so that it works uh, a couple hundred <laughs> a rabbit just walked up beside me so cute hey bunny but anyway the antenna is what gives it that extra range Now the remote controls are simple enough. You've got an on and an off button. And it's got a little antenna to help give you the range as well. So the hope is you carry this in your pocket down to the garden. You want to turn on the water pump. Pull up the antenna, you push, push on. Signal comes back and it works. So my challenge is how do I go from that module to something that's Kind of a useful product where you can just plug it into the outlet and plug your pump into it that's what i'm going to be trying next 
So along with the remote control switch, I also purchased a extension cord that I'm going to sacrifice to try to turn this into something where it'll plug directly into the wall outlet and then you can plug your pump into it and you're good to go. So let me get this hacked up. I am terrible when it comes to electricity. But I'm going to cut that in half, splice the co cables, wired it all up correctly, of course, um, and then we're going to try it out. All right, step one in this attempt. So part way down the sacrificial extension cable, I have, with my sharp Ulfa knife, remove a portion of the sheath and the reason i just didn't cut it in two is i want to preserve that ground wire i think right so this terminal is positive and negative positive and negative no ground on it and i want to maintain the ground so my thought is y'all that know anything about electricity correct me in the comments below i want to maintain that ground from the pump or whatever I plug into the end into the ground in the outlet. So now I'm just going to cut the black and white wires, strip them back, connect them to the terminals, and that puts the switch in line for the power while maintaining the ground. Anyway, in theory, I think it's going to work. We'll find out here in a minute. Okay, my step two is complete, where I've now stripped the ends of the four wires, leaving the ground intact. Now ready to screw them onto those terminals. So step three complete. I've got my input on the left, my output on the right, per the wiring diagram. Now to sync up, I guess we have to sync up or pair our remote controls with the box and there's instructions on how to do that and then we can try it. All right, time to do a test. So there's my outdoor outlet and just a word of warning if you have outdoor outlets that you leave cracked open, be careful because I got bit on the finger by a hornet. It runs up to my control box that we just wired up. From there, there's the connection to the water pump. So we're gonna do a quick up close test. Now in theory, I push the on button, pump should start. Actually, that's not true, because I gotta turn on the pump. Okay, take two. The switch, the on switch is now on on the pump. And if I push the on button, the pump has now started. And if I push off, the pump has now stopped. The real test is 250 feet away down there. Let's do that. So here we are, 250 feet away from the corner of the barn where that switch is. Here's my garden hose. Now I am getting water out of it because of gravity. But let's see if the pump will kick in when I push the button. I'll turn this off for a second. Grab the remote control. Push the on button. Now I can't hear anything from this distance, but we should be able to see an increase in water pressure. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. The pump is working, which means my switch is working. Let me turn the pump back off. And this is going to work out quite well. Not sure it's the ideal setup, but it's a workable setup. 
it'd be great if I had some sort of weatherproof housing for that so I could leave it out. Right now I'm thinking every time I want to water the garden or use it, I'll just dig out that extension cord, plug it in and, and go and then take it back inside at the end of the day. Not the end of the world, but it would be great if it was weatherproof and I really don't think it is. But anyway, I'm gonna walk back up there and we'll wrap up this video. So one more quick update before I do go up there. I just did a test with the aerial down and it still worked. So at 250 feet, I don't need the aerial on the remote for it to turn the pump on and off. So if any of you all know of a weatherproof housing that wouldn't interfere with the uh, signal that I could use, be greatly appreciated. Just leave it in the comments. It's about eight inches by three inches is about what I would need with some way to run two cables up into the bottom. So I'm assuming like a, a plastic box that that could just mount to the post and I could have that inside and leave it out. But if I have to bring it in every time, that wouldn't be the end of the world either. So I think this is a good time to wrap up this video and in the uh, immortal words of Hannibal. I love it when a plan comes together. I love it when a plan comes together too. Especially since I'm not a whiz when it comes to anything electric. Uh, so to have that work easily outside the box, pretty easy setup. The uh, sacrificial uh, extension cord worked great. So now I can just plug it into the outlet if there's no Hornet there and plug the pump in. And I can use my little remotes from the garden to turn the pump on and off and not worry about burning out the pump while it's running up here up the hill. Now that's just one potential use for this kind of switch. Now again, I was 250 feet away and it worked great without the antenna down. Um, so I'm assuming it will work for much greater range than that. It, it worked every time I tried it pretty easily. So it suits my need. Again, I can't believe there's not one of those Christmas light ones out there uh, that's already set up. And, and probably there is, I just didn't find it. But, you know, this, this is going to meet my needs, so I'm a happy camper. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I always love reading your comments. Again, if you know of a housing I can use, that would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and be sure to check out my other videos. Thanks again. Bye-bye.